Question is from Joe Zapien. Does it take longer to build muscle or burn fat? I'm trying to get a feel how long to bulk and cut. Oh, this, this is a cool question. It's an interesting question because this there's, is a cool question. Yeah, because uh, you know, initially, I want to answer this from a physiological standpoint and say it's much harder to build muscle than it is to burn body fat. Physiologically mm. speaking, it's a slower process. Now, that, genetically speaking, yeah, or just just psychologically, or just culturally hmm. uh wow now we're talking because uh you know physiologically yes building muscle slow burning body fat can be fast if you do everything right but what about all the the, the roadblocks in front of you to trying to burn body fat i mean it, uh, what i used to tell clients was you know and this took me kind of because you're right uh physiologically you would say right away the answer is building muscle because technically uh, I could go to the gym right now and run on the treadmill for five hours straight and I'm going to burn off some body fat. I cannot go to the gym and lift for five hours and build a pound of, a, a pound of muscle. So technically, if we were to compare it like that, building muscle is technically harder. But I tell I would tell clients, and again, this is coming you know, full circle for me as a trainer, you know, after training so many people on both sides of this is that the grass is always greener on the other side. Mm -hmm. So if you're, and, and and that's, you have to take into account too, genetics. And some people just struggle really hard with losing body fat, Be being in a caloric deficit, their body to actually burn like that. They've already slowed their metabolism way down. And so creating a large enough deficit for them to sh shed body fat is inc incredibly hard. But they could go to the gym, touch some weights, and the next day they feel like they put muscle on. So to me, it's it's really the, the grass is always green on the other side. The side that you've probably had the most challenging with, it's, it's hardest for you. Sure. Now, I mean, but, but again, I think for most people, um, burning body fat's hard because it requires uh, more... It requires more fundamental changes in your behavior, yeah. lifestyle, discipline, than building muscle does. So, like, you could take. I'd say I disagree with well, that. Well, no, it, it totally. Look, I'll tell you what. Uh, you take the average person and who's eating too many calories or whatever, have them lift weights three days a week. They're going to build muscle. To get them to burn body fat substantially, they have to change their diet. They have, which is very hard. Yeah, Changing diets way harder. Yeah, but to, take a kid like me, for example, who uh, I. I was not able to consume, or I, I shouldn't say I wasn't able, I wasn't consuming enough calories to support the amount of activity that I was doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not the average person, though, of yeah. course. Well, well uh, most, I mean, there's a lot of kids that, there's a lot of young kids with fast metabolisms that play. demographic like Yes, that, that yeah. play sports like athlete, athletic kids. There, I know that that's you why go, you always have to an answer this with depends, because, yeah, like, yeah, whoever is yeah, in front of you. The case you're making is right be now. harder for him. For the, I'm right, talking right, about the majority. The, yeah. ca you're, the case you're making right now for the majority middle like age. generalized. Client, answer. sure, but I, I think there's just as many people listening to this podcast that struggle with building muscle as as equally as somebody burning fat. Yeah, no, it's, it's the grass is green on the other side is the answer to me. It's not. I don't believe burning fat is more difficult. No, no, no. I 100 percent agree with you. But what I'm saying is that the majority because we have an obesity epidemic, we don't have a hard gainer epidemic, right? Um, most for most people, when conf when confronted with this question, for most people, for them. It's burning body fat is harder, okay, which we, is why when we, I would get a client, we have, we have an obesity epidemic because eating overconsumption and being fat causes medical problems, and not building muscle doesn't cause medical problems. Therefore, it's it's talked about more. But there is as equal amount of people on the earth right now that would struggle to build muscle as there would be to build burn body fat. Well, so think That's about it this way: when you got the average client, the average client's goal was I want to lose weight. What would be the first thing that you would focus on with them? Get them stronger and build more muscle. Correct. Okay. Part of the reason why we do that is it's a smart strategy. The part of it, it's easier. It's easier for them to get their mind around that. Like, mm -hmm. okay, fine. Come to the gym. I'm going to lift weights. I'm going to build muscle. I'm going to get stronger. We're going to focus on that first. So for most people, it's just a lot tougher. Now, physiologically speaking, it's harder to build muscle. Look, I could somebody could could uh, logically lose a hundred pounds in a year. Well, I just made, I gave, but the, gain 100 pounds I gave of the analogy yeah. in one gym workout. You yeah, could go yeah. to the gym yeah. and literally burn off like a pound of muscle, maybe not or a pound of fat. I mean, mm -hmm. you could, you could spend the whole day on the treadmill and you will burn body fat. Like if you spend all day on the treadmill sure. and you don't eat any calories, you for sure will burn body fat. You cannot go to the gym and spend all day at the gym and build a pound of muscle. Right. It doesn't mm -hmm. work that way. Right, so right, right. hands down, 
from a physiological aspect, 100% building muscle is more Definitely. difficult. But I would just, I would make the case that it's normally the grass is greener on the other side. It's always whatever is more difficult for you is more difficult for you. Totally. You know, I've had so many clients that uh, that are one or the other. I've had the the client who is extremely obese uh and uh, boy i throw them in the gym they touch some weights and we just we pack on the muscle like you said it's a, it's an easier strategy for those people before we trying to lose body fat but then i've had the the kid or the the young adult who's athletic and moves a lot and has a hard time consuming enough calories you know you ask them to come in the gym and add five pounds of muscle it's like oh, yeah nice i've been trying adam for the last decade i tell them to get on a treadmill reduce calories they'll yeah. lose body fat real fast yeah, so yeah. You know, I, I think it's, in I think it's equally of, difficult. In terms of the adaptive processes of the body, fat is a faster – fat gain and fat loss is a faster adaptive process. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by physiological. Uh, the, 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 the way that your body burns body fat or stores body fat uh, is based off of thousands of years of evolution of dealing with uh, lots and lots of uh, times where we had lots of food or we had no food at all. And so the body does a very good job of bouncing back and forth. Now, when it comes to muscle, muscle building muscle is also an ad adaptation. It's a longer, slower adaptation. First off, your body doesn't store muscle when you ha are eating extra calories um, because muscle is expensive. It also requires something that burning fat does not. Right. It needs Your body needs a reason to have that muscle. Yes, and, and you need to feed it in order to do that. See, with, with burning body fat, you can go the other direction and you could be extreme and be okay. Like even though it's not ideal for you long term, I could technically shred. Like using the again the analogy, I could technically shred shred a pound of yeah. fat off someone's body by starving them and making them run like crazy. You can't do that same thing with. You have to feed the body adequate protein and calories in order for it to build muscle. It's also more specific when you're trying to build muscle. It's much more of a specific application of exercises and technique and sets and reps and. Burning body fat, you could do it in a more general way. And I don't, now this is not ideal, but like Adam's saying, you could just move more and eat less and you're going to burn uh, some body fat. If you just go to the gym and just randomly work out, you're probably not going to build- And not uh, change eating behavior. Yeah, you're probably not going to build any muscle. But that being said, psychologically speaking, uh, most people have such a tough time with burning body fat. It's so hard for them to change their eating behaviors. It's so hard for them to well, change I, it, at least in a long term, uh, you know, a long term way. Yeah, I think they would be like equal, and I'm trying to like decipher which one's harder. But if you tried to like extract, if if I'm just building lean muscle and I'm not just you know consuming whatever the fuck I want to consume, and I'm 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 very disciplined in my you know regiment, and I'm trying to like build this lean muscle versus you know maintain like the current amount of lean muscle mass I have while cutting down. I mean, those two processes are are. are are pretty damn equal in my opinion. Well, to support more of your argument, Sal, because I know the direction you're going, and what I do agree with is that most clients, the majority probably listening, the majority of people that we would take on have fucked up their metabolism. They have, you know, yo-yo dieted so many times, and when they come to you 50, 100 pounds, whatever, overweight, a lot of times where their caloric maintenance is at is already in a in a very challenging place to take them to immediately start mm -hmm. to lose body fat. I mean, more often than not, I get the client who's got 30 or more pounds of body fat they want to lose. <clears throat> they sit in front of me. You would think that, oh, this person's really fat. They must be eating 5,000 calories and McDonald's every day. And it's no, not at all. In fact, a lot of times that person is eating nowhere near that. And that's because they have slowed their metabolism down from from poor choices of exercise and poor choices of food for such a long period of time that when we get them as a, as a trainer, man, yeah, burning fat right away is really challenging because the state that they're currently in, you know? Yeah. And so that's why taking them into a muscle building focus first is going to, is advantageous for us. Now, the, the irony of this is that um, building muscle helps burning to burn body fat. Burning body fat doesn't necessarily need to mm -hmm. help building muscle. In, in other words, yeah. regardless of what your goal is, if your goal is to lose lots of body fat or your goal is obviously to build muscle, build muscle first, build muscle, yep. building mu more muscle will make any goal you have much easier, especially the fat loss one. This is a big one that we communicate all the time. When people's 
ultimate goal is to lose weight, I think they focus so heavy on burning tissue mm -hmm. that they just care about pounds coming off the scale, not realizing that they may be setting themselves up for uh, long-term failure. Short-term success, but long-term failure. Um, building muscle helps with long-term success regardless of what your goal is. So I always focus on that regardless of what the client's uh, goal is.